Hello, I'm uh, Mathieu Huygens and I'm uh, the brewer of La Source with, uh, together with my wife Nina and uh, we're, we're just opening our brew pub in uh, Be Here. And wh why, what do you hope to achieve here? What's the new things? Do you have new tanks? You're so uh, yeah, the concept is here to, uh, to have five uh, serving tanks with uh, the aim is to minimize the packaging of the beer, so uh, really to be a short circle brew pub. So uh, we're trying to, to make beer and send it directly in the tanks. So as you see, we can uh, serve it. Uh, we just have some taps here and uh, we can serve the beer uh, directly from, uh, from the tank. So it's kind of the freshest beer of Brussels. It's, uh, there's no exposition to light, oxygen or heat. And uh, so it's uh, yeah, kind of the freshest you can get. Why did you start La Source and what's the philosophy behind the beers you're making here? Uh, when I started brewing uh, four or five years ago, we were like getting enthusiastic with my wife uh, saying, hey, we should do a brew pub, a place where people go and taste the beer directly on the spot. It was kind of uh, new at, the, at, the, at that point. And we were like, yeah, we should call it La Source because uh, people would come at the source to drink it. And so uh, that's how the thing got, uh, got together. And, uh, after that, we were like, hey, why not uh, serving beer directly from the tank so it will be something new, something uh, very fresh, and uh, that's how it, uh, it got built together. This place it gives you an opportunity to expand and try new beers, and what is your association with fermenting? Uh, the aim here is to be a more uh, creative and seasonal uh, brewery, so we got a few uh, ferment eggs to make uh, some uh, wild and sour beers. and. Um, it's really the, the aim is to work with uh, what's uh, from the season, like uh, fresh fruits, fresh herbs, and uh, yeah, work together with uh, ferment things that's, uh, that are uh, like cutting edge in uh, fermenting things. So uh, we like to experiment with them to, uh, together. For example, what kind of experiments do you see? What kind of uh, collaborations do you see? Mm, uh, we we want to make a beer together, like uh, maybe using something they ferment, uh, like maybe uh, ume, umeboshi. It's like uh, some uh, prickled uh, pears. Uh, no, it's not pears, but it's a kind of a salty, sour thing. We're like thinking about making something like this, or we'll see. <laughs> So we can expect more innovation, more interesting things coming out of this place. Yeah, we hope. Uh, it's, uh, that's the aim. It's, uh, we, we chose to have a lot of uh, very small fermenters to keep uh, the risk low in terms of volume and can uh, keep uh, steadily making uh, some uh, creative and seasonal beers. And here we are, I guess, close to this uh, B green or the green uh, area that they're trying to build up there to tour in taxis. Do you expect people to be drawn out here? I understand there's other brewers around, so this could be kind of come a brew pub, brewing district. Yeah, yeah, we've got a few brewer, brewer neighbors like uh, Anstumelings, uh, No Science, uh, Brasserie de la Seine. We're like uh, free breweries in the same street, so yeah, it's kind of a new beer spot in Brussels. So yeah, that's the, the point. And, uh, we're in a very green part of Brussels with uh, Tivoli Green City, Green Bees, and uh, here is, uh, there's a, a biomarket and uh, a lot of uh, eco-responsible, uh, let's say, uh, shops and everything. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's one of the things we like and that's why we love to be here. Great, thank you. Done? That Great. Was good.